Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm talking quiet because we've come out to do a bit of barbel fishing. Um, I've put in a lot of pellets. We did a four mil halibut pellets for the loose feed. I've got at least two barbel in the swim, both roughly around sort of five to six pound mark. And there's uh, quite a, quite a few chub, quite a few nice chub at that. Looking at three to four pound fish. So um, I'm going to get a few more pellets in. I'm going to connect the rod up. I'm going to put a feeder out. So we're using a, a black cap maggot feeder. I've got a few maggots as well. So hopefully we'll get a barbel today. And it should be a really beautiful fish when I put one on the bank. Because it's going to happen. I've got a feeling it's going to happen. There's uh, quite a bit of debris coming down because of, we just had a lot of rain. I see a big tree coming down now. Uh, we had a lot of rain recently, uh, a lot in the night. It's been on and off showers all day. So there's quite a few twigs and weed rafts coming down. Oh, that's enough talking. Let's get fishing. It's a barbel. He nearly took the rod in. The bite was that aggressive, it was like bang, 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 bang. Oh, he's a nice one as well. And it ran about 15 yards downstream. I'll just get his head out of snag. Away from there. Get the lips. You can probably see him on camera. It's a pretty fish. Four or five pound. That one's good. Out of that weed. Is it this way? There's a big pike next to it as well. The pike's followed it up. Must be where all the minnows went because he was around here and then disappeared. That pike is eyeballing it. Don't eat it. <laughs> the pike is literally sniffing its tail. He's done that, he spent holding itself in the flow. I'll get your head up. That's it, your beauty. Yep. The pie's looking to feed it now. Don't you dare bite it, snap me off. You little devil. <laughs> Out of the net. It's going in the bush again. The pike is just here. It's going upstream. Come on, now get out of them weeds. That's it. That's a good girl. That's right. Oh, God. He's in the net. It's a little beautiful fish. I'll leave him there for a minute. That was a good fight. It's got a little bit of energy in it. It was just caught in the side of its mouth there. It's probably good. Four pound, five pound. Getting on that way anyway. It's definitely not the biggest one down there. I mean, you always end up with the smallest ones first most of the time, so. Spazzing out. All right, all right. <laughs> I 
You do a commentary there. So there he is. Lovely little fish, like. Absolutely pristine. Absolutely pristine. <laughs> Done a little poo in the net. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. Target species acquired. Just need a bigger one now. So we'll um, get him rested. We'll get a little picture and he can swim back off and find some more pellets. See, he's a gorgeous fish and he's got some growing to do for this winter. Absolutely pristine fish. Beautiful. Right. Let's get him slipped back. Just a quick word of advice. If you do go out barbell fishing, you manage to catch one. Give it plenty of time in the in the net resting. Uh, last thing you want is it going belly up. They do tend to seize up and they can die. Uh, they're a bit more susceptible to it than say your chub and your roach. So always make sure if you got the opportunity to leave it in the net like this, you got a nice low banking. Uh, make sure the water's actually flowing through it. That's always a, a good idea. Uh, but you can just leave the net there with the fish resting in it. Uh, you can keep it there until say you catch your next fish and get the fish feeding again and you slip him out and he should be able to bolt off and be nice and strong to fight for another day I just thought I'd take the opportunity um, while I'm getting them fish confident again they're back in the swim um, just not as confident as I want them to be so I keep flicking the odd bit of bait out so I'm get a wet bum now I'm just going to run over my rig, which is very, very simple. I've probably shown you a million times before, but we'll do it again, just for the new viewers. So, at the business end, I've set up a, a long hook link, of eight pound line, which is probably about a foot and a half to two foot long. And that's hair, uh, got a hair rigged band on it. In that band I put on a uh, eight mil pellet. And that seems to be perfect. Oh, when you make, when you set it up, make sure the distance between the hook and the pellet is, is as close as you possibly want it to be. <laughs> that way you get better hookups. Uh, then over here, that hook link is connected to a swivel. And just above that, we've got a little buffer bead where the little tiny 10 gram black cat feeder is just, just gets stopped up just above the knot. Um, that cushions your knot, so it's not damaging it. So it's not gonna get weakened and they come loose when you're fighting fish. Um, I just see another barbell in the swim. He's a nice one. I want that one next. <laughs> so yeah, that's the rig. Just on a simple run rig. If you were to snap off that, they're not going to carry in a lead, like lead round with it. They can easily get rid of a, uh, a just a size 12 barbless. And uh, yeah, that's the rig. So far so good. I managed to play that fishing all right on it. I don't know whether it would play that pike in okay, but... Anyway, I'm getting excited now, some more fishing swim, so I can catch them. Right. Small chub this time. Bad. He's definitely a three. So we'll have a look at that belly. He's, he's a right junky monkey. So uh, there you go. Pristine fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. Chub are definitely one of my favourite my favourite fish. So uh, yeah, I'm not complaining. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll uh, get him slipped back and uh, we'll see if there's anything else down there that wants to feed. I'll call this one was. Uh, I just took um, the feeder off because every time I cast it out, the fish was buggering off. And then I was getting loads of weed online, throwing bait out, and they were coming back. So I took it off, cast it out, and you watched the pellet float down, and then uh, got a massive pull around on the rod, and there was this little fella. So uh, yeah, we're getting slipped back now. Yeah. 
Yeah, fish it back into him. And that's that. Pike again, because the pike were chasing this one in as well. No way. That's it then. You're getting a bit feisty, we'll put him back. Scales, I'd be happier, but I'm all chuffed with this one. He's a, he's definitely a four. He's definitely a four. Just gotta lift it down. Jesus. He's he's over four, well over four. Massive belly on it, huge head. You can see his belly there. He's so fat. Well, I'll let you guys decide how big he is, but to me, that is an absolute bruiser. <laughs> that is a bruiser. Get the size of it. What? <laughs> God, Chub. These Chubs are insane. I love these fish. My word, he's a beast. <laughs> he's a beast. Oh. If we're putting the weight on it, it's it's a high four. It's a four ten, four ten, four eleven, something like that. I don't know about a five pound, but <laughs> I'm not grumbling. He's an absolute tank, absolute tank. Uh, we'll get a picture of this one, and then he can swim back. Because that is immense. You are immense. <laughs> wow. Okay guys, and on that note I'm going to end it, uh, I've just slipped the big jug back and that was an absolute tank, <laughs> absolute tank, barbell and swim now, typical, um, the camera is just about to run out of power so it's definitely time to call it quits, so uh, comment and subscribe, do what the hell you want and I'll see you in the next video, and also don't poo in the bath, goodbye. <laughs>